YouTube. So, uh, we haven't done a shootout in a while, and, uh, I figured we'd shoot out, uh, do kind of a, I don't know, this is kind of a sort of generic thing, but I feel like I have an interesting take on it just because of how long I've been playing with yo-yos. Um, not to say that I'm any good at yo-yos, but, you know, for just for how long that I've owned and played with yo-yos. So, um, today we are going to shoot out metal versus plastic versus wooden yo-yos. Now, now, I know what you're thinking. Well, there's clearly a very huge difference. Yeah, I know that. But we're going to go through the pros and cons of each material in which yo-yos are constructed out of and just sort of uh, talk about the pros and cons of each and, um, you know, talk about why I like each one separately because, you know, I'm just talking to myself here. So, anyway, guys. Uh, let's get started. We'll get started with metal. Why not? Let's get started with metal yo-yos. So how about when I was a kid, uh, the metal yo-yos were few and far between, and, uh, you know, if you wanted a metal yo-yo, you were gonna pay boatloads of money for them. I mean, like, it, a one metal yo-yo would cost you, like, 15 times what, like, most standard it, most standard, like, very good plastic yo-yos would cost you. Like, just ridiculous amounts of money. As far as, like, the 90s and toys were concerned. We're talking, like, Power Rangers money. Anyway. Power Rangers money. Come on, that's funny. That's real funny. Come on. Anyway. Um, so, metal yo-yos have sort of taken over the, uh, the, the yo-yo scene. Um, more or less, if you see anybody competing, you see anybody playing yo-yo, they're... Uh, you know, a, a good portion of the time playing with a metal yo-yo. And uh, there's really more metal yo-yos available now than there really are yo-yos made of any other, uh, you know, any other material. It's it's all pretty much aluminum. Uh, now, whether it's 6061 aluminum, 7075 aluminum, uh, or even the, some of the newer yo-yos from Yo-Yo Factory are made of uh, 7068 aluminum. Um, now, this is the uh, Yo-Yo Factory um, Aviator 2. Uh, this is one of my favorite Yo-Yo Factories, if not my favorite, um, and uh, it's it's pretty much, you know, everything that I think a metal Yo-Yo ought to be. Uh, the price is good on these; you can get them pretty cheap. I think you know, even Yo-Yo Factory blew this color out at like twenty bucks, but you can get them used usually between twenty-five, thirty, sometimes twenty, depending. Um, I got this one used, but it was pretty much new in the box. I've since taken it everywhere and beaten it up. Uh, this one's relatively durable. Um, so, let's talk about the pros and the cons of, uh, metal yo-yos. So, um, pros now is that they're widely available now, and there is a huge selection. Basically, whatever kind of shape you want, whatever weight tickles your fancy, whatever price point, really, even, that you're looking for, you can find a metal yo-yo that will suit your needs. There are a zillion of them. They come in a zillion different colors. You could fill case after case after case. You could spend all day buying metal yo-yos and still spend the whole next day and the next day after that and there are just so so many metal yo-yos it's insane um, so they're readily available uh, if you know where to look um, the next pro is uh, they perform great so metal yo-yos spin the longest they spin the smoothest for the most part there's some exceptions there but they're usually cheaper um, and you know they grind the best they do they, they, they have just the best features um, because, you know, it's the highest performing material that they make yo-yos out of. Um, you can even get them now. Now, the other, uh, kind of cool thing about metal yo-yos is kind of like, as far as price is concerned, you can spend whatever you want. So you could spend seven or eight bucks on a magic yo-yo from China and it'll ship and it'll be fine for the most part. Now you can get some junk for like, there's like a 15-ish dollar range where like, there's some junk, and it's like, oh, well, the, this Magic Yo-Yo I paid $10 for was good, so maybe this Aldi Yo-Yo that I'm going to pay $13 for is going to be good. And it's not, and that's like, you know, there's a weird range there, so maybe, you know, stick with the tried and true, like, extreme budget metals. Like, if you haven't ever heard anybody rave about one for how cheap it was, maybe don't try it. If it just looks like it's like, oh, 13 bucks and it's made of metal, it has to be good, right? No, it could be complete garbage. Um, 
But, uh, you know, you can spend whatever you want. You could spend, you know, like I said, the 7 or 8 or $10 on a nice, on a decent Magic Yo-Yo to, like, beat around. Or you could spend $300 on a titanium shutter or $250 on a Yo-Yo Recreation drop near or whatever. And, uh, you know, it, so pricing's all over the place. Whatever you have to spend, you can get a metal Yo-Yo for that, for the most part. Just do your research. It's a better idea because there's so many of them, like I said. Um... Some of the cons of Metal Yo-Yo's is uh, they're not as durable. Um, spike these bad boys off of concrete and you now have yourself a razor blade uh, that will slice your hand if you don't file it down and, and do some stuff with it. Um, other cons, uh, again, um, is that besides, you know, dings and stuff that become very visual, very apparent, um, you can pretty easily strip the axles in these. Not that you couldn't strip the axle in anything else. Um, could pretty easily strip the axle, and if you spent a lot of money on it, and you know you overcranked it or something, and you stripped the axle or you misthreaded it or whatever, uh, you know you've basically just created a fifty or hundred dollar paperweight. Uh, I haven't had that happen too many times, um, so it's not a not a huge concern, not a huge con, but you know it's it's a thing. Uh, One drop ha actually has sort of um, remedied the situation though uh, with the side effect system. Because even if you break a side effect, you can throw that out, get a new side effect, and uh, your yo-yo is good as new. So, uh, you know, there are there are ways around the, the whole axle stripping dealio, but, uh, you know, they're not as widely used, at least not outside of the one-drop stuff. Um, some of the other cons, uh, metal yo-yos hurt when they hit your face. So if you're a beginner, and you have a brand new beginner metal yo-yo, and you hit yourself with it, or you hit your knuckles with it, or whatever... It's going to hurt. You're going to hurt yourself if you hit yourself with a metal yo-yo. So try not to do that. Also, try not to hit people, pets, kids, anything with a metal yo-yo because it's going to hurt them too. So, uh, you know, that's some of the cons of the metal yo-yo and I think, you know, where some of these other ones shine. But as far as modern performance is concerned and modern tricks and modern what have you, uh, you know, I, I really think at this point in time here in 2017 that the... Uh, Yo-yo made of some sort of uh, metal alloy, be it you know stainless steel and aluminum, or all aluminum, depending on what kind, or even titanium, uh, it reigns supreme. So uh, there's the uh, pro con shootout number of uh, metal. Moving on, plastic yo-yos. Yes, metal yo-yos perform better. However, we've uh, we've all seen lots of uh, we've all seen Gentry Stein. Uh, at this point, probably, uh, win Worlds in, what was that, 20, or not Worlds, what am I talking about? Win the U.S. Nationals in 2014, 2015, something like that, with a Replay Pro. Now, uh, plastic yo-yos uh, used to be all the rage. This used to be what you wanted to make your yo-yo out of because plastic is durable, for the most part. It doesn't hurt as bad when it hits you because it's not made of metal. It's uh, pretty cheap. Nice thing about this. This would be brand new. would have been 50 bucks or so. This brand new, like 16 So, you know, plastic is cheap. Um, plastic yo-yos still perform pretty well. Uh, I could do everything with this yo-yo that I can do with this yo-yo, for the most part. This clearly would thumb grind better, and this doesn't really have much of a thumb grind lip. But really, other than that, um, not a whole lot of uh, difference... You know, performance-wise, this is smoother, this spins longer, but it doesn't mean that I can't do all the same tricks with this yo-yo, and it was 16 bucks. Uh, I really like the Replay Pro. As you can see, this one gets a lot of love. It goes to the park a lot. Uh, I walked the dog for a kid on uh, what I didn't understand was uh, chewed-up tires, so now I've got this nice, fun black streak here. This is Eric Koloski's signature edition. I find that the Replay Pro, uh, particularly the solid-colored ones, are relatively indestructible. Uh, it seems like the clear, the see-through ones, whether it be the marbled ones or just the ones that have see-through colors, like you can see through the blue or see through yellow or whatever, those ones seem to have like axle. I have uh, the see-through blue I have seems to have like an axle, like or a, a bearing seat issue or something, where like now it just kind of gets tilty for no good reason. I, I just it it developed over time. I don't know if it's but it seems like any time I see somebody who has like a bearing seat issue with a Replay Pro, it's always a, a clear one. So, uh, you know, you may want to watch out for that. But otherwise, uh, I mean, I think the Replay Pro is indestructible. This one takes a lot of hits. It gets the dog walked a lot. 
uh, for kids because I take it to the park and kids play at the park. And uh, it, I think it just got smoother. Um, I like this yo-yo. I like it a lot. Uh, comes with me a lot of places. It's cool. Um, performs really well. It's a little heavy, um, you know. But uh, some of the some of the, let's talk through the pros of the plastic yo-yos. So for the most part, they're cheaper. Now you can get cheaper um, metal yo-yos than you can plastic yo-yos. So it becomes sort of a gray area in that regard. But uh, you know, for the most part, plastic yo-yos are cheaper, and decent plastic yo-yos are cheaper. Um, you know, you'd pay 50 bucks for something like this, for the most part, brand new, from Yo-Yo Factory. But, uh, this is 16, and if you want to spend, like, 20, uh, I mean, I think the, um, performance level jumps even more. You can get a Protostar, that new North Star just came out, that I, I have one that came in the mystery box. I'm not sure what it's going to cost new, but if it's going to be in the 20 or 25 range, that's going to be good. Uh, and I mean, you know, you could, you could go all the way up to a machine Delrin throws, uh, you know, machine Delrin uh, yo-yos, those come in at somewhere around 60 or so, um, and they're pretty much high-end, top-quality stuff that uh, is going to perform like, you know, as well as a metal would, but also be, um, you know, kind of in the, you know, very premium as far as its play and, and feel and, and construction and everything is concerned, but at the same time also, you know, kind of in the same price range that a budget metal would be. So, you know, price is a big plus for, uh, a big pro for these because they're cheap and, uh, you know, you always are meant to be thrown at the ground. And if you break it, you know, you don't know, you didn't necessarily play, pay much for it. Um, another pro to plastic is they seem to be super durable. Um, this has hit the concrete a couple of times. Um, whether my kids got a hold of it or I suck at yo-yo or whatever. Um, but you wouldn't be able to tell because, uh, it's made of some sort of invincible plastic. Uh, literally, these are, I, I have, this is made out of the same thing the Yo-Yo Factory Daydream is made out of. And uh, I did a Tom versus Yo-Yo Factory Daydream where I chucked the thing against the house and up in the air and it still plays. In fact, it probably played better after I beat the crap out of it um, than it played before that. So um, whatever this is made out of, uh, it's pretty much indestructible and, uh, you know, so kudos to Yo-Yo Factory for that, but also, you know, that's a huge plus to plastic yo-yos is that they're super indestructible for the most part, especially the, uh, you know, the, the replays and stuff. Super duper indestructible. Um, also, even though this is pretty heavy, it doesn't hurt as bad when it hits you. Um, you know, if you're new and you hit yourself in the face or you hit your kids, no, don't hit your kids in the face with the yo-yos, but try, you know, try not to. Um, but it's not going to hurt them as bad. So if you're taking a replay pro to the park or whatever, or playing around your kids, around your cat, um, you know this is a great option because just in case, you know, it ain't going to hurt as bad. It, you know, you're not going to be taking anybody to the hospital to get uh, metal yo-yo, you know, stitches or anything because it's not going to it's not going to hit them that hard and and uh, cut them open or anything crazy like that. So. That's, you know, that's definitely a big plus, especially if you're a father like me or, you know, a pet owner or you just suck like me sometimes, you know, so. Plastic is good, especially if you're drinking. This is just water, though, and there's Wolverine. Um, but, uh, yeah, plastic, I like plastic a lot. Uh, now, some of the cons, you know, it doesn't perform as well as metal does. It just doesn't. Uh, this doesn't spin as long. It does spin a long time, but it just doesn't spin as long as, like, you know, quality metal throw wood. Um, you can't get as many gimmicks in because if you try to put too many gimmicks in, the yo-yo starts to perform really poorly, I feel like. Um, it doesn't grind as well. The Replay Pro is probably the best grinding plastic yo-yo I've ever played with. Um, most plastic yo-yos are kind of a shiny, sticky material. Uh, they're kind of like shiny and sticky. This is kind of like matted or like blasted or something. Uh, but the shiny, sticky ones, they'll just stick to your skin and fire off and it just it not not ideal for grinds, not ideal for super long spin times, um, and uh, you know although they are pretty durable as far as being able to take hits, um, you know one good hit will I mean I guess like any yo-yo but one good hit a solid crack can ruin the yo-yo and you know make it vibe like crazy and just be an unplayable mess. So it, it's kind of like you know while it is super durable, uh, the wrong hit will destroy it. Whereas the wrong hit won't necessarily destroy a metal yo-yo, but you'll probably have to file it down so that it doesn't razor blade your fingers off. Um, but I like plastic. Uh, you guys see a lot of plastics on this channel. I think plastics are worthwhile, and I think they're a lot, a lot. Of, I think they're a lot, a lot of fun. Um, 
and a lot of there's a lot of good uh, reasons to carry a plastic and have a few plastics to carry around. So uh, that's the plastic. Last but not least, and this is one that when people do this, they don't usually talk about wooden yo-yos because it's a little different. But um, as most of you will know, I am a uh, avid uh, fixed axle thrower. I'm not any good at it, but uh, I loved wooden yo-yos as a kid. Love, love, loved them. Uh, the uh, old BC stuff, uh, BC, what's next? Um, the Tom Coon stuff, uh, loved them. They were my pride and joy. I had a bunch of them, took them all over the place, threw them all day, wore out tons of axles, wore out tons of yo-yos, and loved them. To this day, I still get that nostalgic love uh, out of a uh, nice quality wooden fixed axle yo-yo. Now, these don't spin a very long time. They don't. But that's part of the challenge, and that's part of the fun. Um, there's something satisfying about just throwing and catching a wooden fixed axle yo-yo. Now, this is a yo-yo factory legend wing um these are pretty new i think they came out late last year or early this year and maybe i think it was this year um and uh i love that yo-yo factory put these out love it these are 10 bucks and uh they're great for old school play they're great for new fixed axle play these are great for beginners i really think that all beginners should start on a wooden fixed axle yo-yo i know i know you're gonna like tell me that i'm wrong and there's all these other beginner yo-yos hear me out First thing a beginner wants to be able to do is to throw and catch a yo-yo. And that's it. That's like your first, like, okay, I need to be able to throw and catch the yo-yo. That is the beginning and the end of every trick. So you need to be able to do that. What's the easiest yo-yo to throw and pull back? A wooden yo-yo. You have more control with a wooden yo-yo than you have with anything else. You don't have to bind it. You don't have, so you don't have to learn that. You don't have to worry about the bearing or anything like that because it's just a piece of wood with a string wrapped around it. You pull it, it comes back. It's not made of metal, so it's not a little bit extra slick. There's no weird starburst response that's going to gum you up. It's just a piece of wood. And it's if you get you know one of these, I think this is made of poplar. I'm almost certain, in fact, that this is made of poplar. If it was a little bit, if it was a little bit greener, uh, I, I would be 100% sure. But I'm almost certain this is made of poplar because it's kind of soft and uh, it's uh, it's pretty light. But, uh, you know, as far as wooden stuff goes, ghost, throw it, catch it. Super easy. That's all beginners want to do. Learn how to throw. Learn how to catch. And wooden, wooden yo yo spin long enough. You can do your around the world. You could do your, uh, you know, rock the baby. And, uh, you know, once you get into it, you can do your uh, new age stalls and whatnot. And, uh, you know, so fixed axle is good for learning beginner stuff. And it's really good for, you know, doing that new fixed axle stuff that is just, you know, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's just different. It's fun and different and challenging. It's like Begliari or, or fidget spinners. These are fun, right? Different. Wooden, wooden yo-yo is the same way. Fun, different, challenging, great. You should have some in your collection because, uh, you know, they scratch they scratch an itch that uh, unresponsive and plastic yo-yos and ball-bearing yo-yos just don't scratch. They just don't. So uh, what are the, uh, what are the, we've talked sort of about the pros of the wooden yo-yo. Great for beginners, easy to throw, easy to catch, easy to control. For the most part, they're pretty cheap. Uh, these, this one's 10 bucks. You know, you can get some of the other ones, some of the less nice ones for a little bit less. But for $10, uh, I, I don't think you can go wrong with a, a with the Yo-Yo Factory uh, Legend or Legend Wing. The Legend, the regular one, is just a imperial shape. But uh, for $10, I don't think you can go wrong with these. This, this is awesome. And when you wear it out, you just get another $10 Yo-Yo. It's great. Uh, it performs just as well as, you know, some of the more expensive wooden Yo-Yos. Now, you can kind of go, you know, where a lot of plastic Yo-Yos are relatively cheap and stuff. Uh, you can kind of go nuts with wooden yo-yos if you want. Usually the 30 to $40, 50 $60 price range, too, sometimes. Um, you know, you can get some exotic woods, um, different axle systems where you could change out the axles and replace them and stuff. Um, so, you know, you can jump down the rabbit hole a little bit with wooden yo-yos. And uh, as an avid guitar player, um, 
I, I I've tried to hold back from doing that, but uh, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping that more companies start putting out more wooden yo-yos with some more not necessarily exotic woods, but different woods because I feel like different woods will just play different, and if they're more readily available, um, you know, that's something that uh, that I'd be interested in uh, in checking out. Um, I think uh, Paul from Once Upon a Tree does uh, does some really great stuff, and he kind of does that. He does. Yo-yos, the same yo-yo made out of different kinds of wood. And I need to get some more uh, OUT yo-yos. But um, you know, as far as, I wanted to wanted to keep it all yo-yo factory here because it was uh, it was easy to do. But uh, you know, uh, as far as cons, uh, you can wear out wooden yo-yos, especially the the cheap, the ones without the replaceable axles. Um, you can wear the string right through the axle, and I've done that to a few. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. You just get a new one. It's meant to be. Or if you're good at woodworking, you drill yourself a new axle. Uh, and you can put it in, but if you mess it up, it'll just be a wonky piece of junk. So, you know, you're almost better just buying a new one, but and it's up to you. You can do what you want. It's your yo-yo. Um, and, uh, you know, some of the other, uh, you know, cons are uh, that you can't really do, like, eventually you're, you're going to want to go probably get into fixed axle or get into unresponsive stuff. And there aren't, I think there's a couple, I think ART has one uh, wooden yo-yo with a ball bearing in it, but uh, I'm not sure how, uh, you know, how good it is or how how good it performs. I'm sure it's a ton of fun because that's really what they're looking to do is just make fun yo-yos. But, uh, you know, it, it's a little uh, a little different. Um, you know, it, you can't always necessarily do all the same tricks, but as far as all the beginner tricks and then, you know, you could do that whole fixed axle thing. Check out Ed Haponic's uh, fixed axle tutorials. They're really cool and, and really fun. And you can loop with them. You can do a little bit of looping stuff. So, you know, it's kind of just a different different itch to scratch. It's very satisfying to me anyway. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a little different, maybe not as, uh, as good. Also, some of them, although there are pull-apart designs, a lot of them are just single, a single piece with a glued-in axle, and it's pretty easy to get the string caught up in there, especially if you're trying to do string tricks, and, uh, either you have to pick it out or cut the string out entirely, and, you know, you can scratch your yo-yo if you're trying to do that, so... Uh, you know, there are some cons to it, but uh, I think it's absolutely a worthwhile endeavor to pick up uh, a couple of wooden, ac wood wooden fixed axle yo-yos and, uh, you know, throw them around a little bit because it's, it's just fun. It's a good time. Um, I have a good time with it. But anyway, guys, uh, I know this has gone on a little bit long, but tell me what you think. Uh, tell me in the, in the description, what's your favorite kind of uh, yo-yo? I'm going to guess most people are going to say metal, but uh, I've got a soft spot in my heart for... Uh, Fixed axle wooden yo-yos and plastic yo-yos as well, and I think that uh, all three have should have a solid spot in your collection. They all have a solid spot in my collection. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and tell me what you think in the comments. Cheers to you, and we'll see you next time.